Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. How's it going, everybody? This is Danny Lambert, president and co-founder of Plush Republic Digital Marketing. Uh, I'm doing a relatively niche topic today. What we're going to be covering is how to send delighted NPS surveys on custom triggers within Salesforce. Uh, it's pretty difficult to figure out initially, but I found a workaround. If you want to create Apex triggers and do some custom coding, uh, you can set this up uh, via the documentation that delighted already has. The issue that we had is we didn't want to have to update our Apex code in the sandbox and push it to production every time we wanted to adjust those triggers. Uh, we wanted a workaround that would work for us. Uh, so after a bit of testing, we were able to figure it out. Um, sorry if I'm a little bit slow typing. I've got my dog hanging out here. He's doing his own thing, uh, so apologize for that. Uh, but let's get started. I'm going to go pretty high level because there are a decent amount of steps. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me. It's daniel.lambert at plushrepublic.com, and I'll try to get to those as timely as I can. Uh, so you notice in this background here, I'm logged into Delighted. So that's going to be your first step is to A, set up a Delighted account, uh, and you'll need that to get going. Beyond that, you're going to want to click into Settings, go to Integrations, and then do Salesforce integration. I've already uh, hooked up the entire integration, uh, so I'll already be installed within my Salesforce org. You'll notice that I'm working under Isaiah. I also do the digital marketing for Isaiah. They're a leading influencer marketing company. Uh, that's who I set up this integration for. If you haven't heard of them, I highly suggest you check us out. Uh, Lear Influencer Marketing, and it's a really good company if you ever need that. Um, so I've set this up within our org, and then if I hop into Salesforce, if I went to Settings in my installed packages, then you'll realize I have Delighted, and that's all you'll need to get the end result of once a survey's been filled out to push it to the contact record within Salesforce. Now, if you wanted to trigger an NPS survey on a regular object, like a creation of an opportunity or a creation of a custom object, that's fine. Very easy to do using Zapier. Uh, where you'll struggle is when you want to do it on custom fields short of creating Apex code. So we figured out a solution for this. I'm going to close this out. We wanted to trigger on a campaign estimated end date, right? So when a campaign for us ends, we want to know how that campaign went for our customer. Uh, and to trigger off of this short of Apex, was difficult, but what we were able to do is use workflow email alerts to trigger that via Zapier using their email parsing tool. So what that looks like is I want to set an alert that every time that this estimated end date equals today, that it, it sets a trigger off in Delighted. How I was able to do that is come into my workflows and into email alerts within Salesforce. And I set an email alert on the campaign end date. So I just set up a simple formula within workflows. Again, if you have any questions, you can email me on how to do that. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. Um, but so I just set up that trigger when the campaign end date equals today to send this email template. And I kept it very simple for a reason. To use the email parser tool, it has to be the same template all the time. The more simple it is, the better. All I did was include the contact name and the contact email because that's all you need to send an NPS survey. So every time the campaign end date equals today, an email inbox is going to receive this exact same template every single time. That's very important. So after setting that up, I had to go into Zapier and set up the email address where I'm going to send this to for all this to work. So within Zapier, I created a Zap. If you're not familiar with that, again, you can reach out to me. But within here, I want to trigger this Zap. Uh, on an email parser. So for them what this tool does, you come in, you select email parser, you set up your next trigger which is new email. Let me minimize my face here so you can see this better. I want to trigger on when this inbox receives a new email and then you'll be prompted to set up an account. You set up an email parser account and it allows you to edit your options. So for me, this is the email address that's going to receive that email alert that I set up in Salesforce. Let me click through here. So I would have set this account up on this previous step here, and what you'll get is, sorry, when you click on that is here. I want to log in. And it will allow you to set up a mailbox. So I set up campaign end123 at robot.zapier.com. In here, 
when you send a test, it'll pull in that email template that you created. So all I had to do was hover over what the selection I wanted and then name it, right? So I hovered over that variable of name and then I named it name. I hovered over that variable of email, which will eventually be that email from Salesforce and named that variable email, right? If I had done it with this text, you just name the selection and click save. And when I save this, that will say every time that this email address receives an email with that template to take those two fields and put them into a variable. So I would save this and exit. But since it's already set up, I don't have to. So within that zap, we now have that workflow triggering when a campaign end date is today in Salesforce, sending that email alert to this email address with that same template and creating variables out of those two fields that I just highlighted. The only thing that you would need to do after that is make your second step the delighted integration. I want to add a person slash schedule a survey and how I'm doing that is connecting that delighted account and then taking those variables that I just set from that email parser in the step above right here. You would click here and it says new email and the parse output would be my parse output email for the email and my parse output name for the name. And then I'll go ahead and click save here. Uh, you can mess around with the delays and stuff like that if you want to really customize it, but all you really need are these two options here. So if I went ahead and click continue and finish and it would have you name your, your um, new zap that you created, I said email parse to delighted, that's all the steps it takes. So as long as your workflow email alert is triggering and firing correctly, and the email parser variables that you set up in that last step are set up correctly, uh, it'll automatically put that through to delighted, and in which case because you set up the integration already with the installed package in Salesforce will relay that back to the contact in Salesforce. And I'll show you what that looks like. I had done this in the past, and there's your related list for delighted responses on the contact record, and both of these MPS surveys were sent through that workflow that I created. So just to recap how this works is you set up a delighted account, you set up your Salesforce integration and make sure that installed package is set up, you'll create a workflow trigger uh, and an email template with the fields that you need, which is email and name, to fire every time that that custom field that you want it to fire on uh, becomes a certain value. If it's like a close one opportunity, every time your opportunity stage equals close one, you would fire the trigger on that, and you'd send that template with the name and email of whoever wants to receive that uh, MPS survey to Zapier. When you're in Zapier, you take that email template, you create the variables, and you just send those variables to the delayed integration, and all the work will be done for you there. Again, it's pretty simple to set up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at daniel.lambert at plushrepublic.com. And if you like this video, please leave some comments and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more marketing tips, efficiency tips, uh, and how-to tutorials on a lot of CRM integrations and inbound lead generation efforts. Thank you for your time, guys, and have a great day. Oh, this new crazy mother...